All right, seventh grade, lesson 72. This one is on implied ratios. Okay, so for example, if 12 books weigh 20 pounds, LBS stands for pounds, 12 books weighs 20 pounds, how much would 30 books weigh? We don't know, okay? So, um, there's two different ways you can do this, okay? And so I'm going to show you um, probably the easiest way, I would say, is uh, what you want to do is we're going to take um, 12 books weigh 20 pounds, and that's how you'll write it, books to pounds, books to pounds, 12 books weigh 20 pounds, 30 books weigh how many pounds? Okay, and this is actually called um, a proportion. And so what you're going to do is you're going to go 12 books, 20 pounds, 30 books, I don't know how many pounds. So then you cross multiply. That's what you can do with proportions. Okay, just make sure you have books, books, pounds, pounds, like that. Okay, so you're going to go 12 times P, which is 12 times P, 30 times 20, which is 600. Okay, and then 12 times what equals 600? Well, since we're trying to get the P by itself, we're going to take times 12, divide by 12, and we end up getting 50. So P equals 50. All right, so 50 pounds for 30 books. Okay, all right, let's do another few examples. Okay, listen to this one. Five pounds of grapes cost 120, I'm oh, sorry, a dollar twenty. So 120 cents or a dollar twenty. So five pounds grapes cost 120 cents or a dollar twenty. However you want to do it. So five pounds of grapes cost a dollar twenty. So then they say how much would 12 pounds of grapes cost. We don't know. I'm going to put uh, cost C. Okay? So, we do it just like normal. Five um, grapes C. So, 5C. 5 times C equals 12 times 120. Um, I'm trying to do this all in my head. Um, it's going to end up being uh, 1440. Okay? And so then, we multiply those and multiply that, then this says 5 times what equals 1440, and so I'm going to divide by 5, and C equals 288. So, $2.88 for 12 pounds, $1.20 for 5 pounds. Okay? Let's do another one, and this next one I'm going to teach you, we're going to do it just like this normal way, but I'm also going to teach you another way that you could try that you may like better. So, for example, Mrs. C can tie 25 bows in three minutes. So, that's her rate. 25 bows in three minutes. And then it says, how, much, how many bows can she tie, B for bows, if she does it in one hour? Now, this is three minutes. Notice minutes. So, you need to quickly realize that we need to put minutes here. Bows here, bows here, minutes here, minutes here. So, one hour is 60 minutes. Hopefully, you see that and that makes sense. Okay, so we have minutes, minutes, bows, bows. So, we if uh, they're doing 25 bows in three minutes, at that same rate, how much can she do in 60 minutes? Okay? So, that's exactly what you're going to do. You're going to put 25 over 3 equals B over 60. And let's figure out what that answer is, okay? So, this is 3 minutes, 3 times B equals 60 times 25, which is going to end up being, I think, 150. 150, I'm just guessing. Let's just do the math real quick. 60 times 25. Maybe 1,500. Yeah, 1,500. Okay, so 1,500. Now, this is saying 3 times what equals 1,500, and so that's 
times 3, we're going to bring it across, and that's divided by 3. So then B equals 500, okay? So if she does 25 bows in 3 minutes, then she can do 500 bows in 60 minutes or an hour. Now, there's another way that you can work this, and I want you to see that this is a rate, 25 bows in 3 minutes, or you can say in 3 minutes, she can do 25 bows. Okay? That's a rate. Okay? Now, here's the question. They want us to know how many bows she can tie in one hour, which is 60 minutes. So we're going to take 60 minutes and multiply it by the rate that we want, either this one or this one. Now, remember, if we're wanting to change it to, um, the question is, how many bows... That's what we want on top. How many bows is the answer? So this is the rate we're going to use. 25 bows over 3 minutes. And that helps us because look what happens. Minutes, minutes cross out. Hopefully you remember doing this in the previous lessons. Okay, so then we take 60 times 25. Um, actually, let's do this. Fifteen hundred. Oh, we just did that one. 1,500 divided by 1 times 3 is 3, and so that would give me 1,500 divided by 3, which is 500, okay? So the answer still would be the same, 500 bows, um, but we just did it differently. So I don't really care which one you use. Sometimes they're going to ask for one. If they ask for you to do it using um, rates, this is the one you'll choose. If they ask you to do it using a ratio box, that's what we've been doing, working with the proportions, okay? Uh, so, just letting you know, um, we're going to do this last one using the ratio box, okay? So here we go. 6 is to 15. Now, this, the reason why they're calling it a box is because it would be like this. 6 is to 15 as 9 is to what number? Now, we'll put an N for number. So this would look like this when I just now told you. 6 is the 15 as 9 is to what number? And remember, we can equal those, and then those are proportions, and then you can cross multiply. And they're talking about a ratio box because they're putting it in a box. You're doing the same thing, no worries. So this is 6 times n, 6 times n equals 15 times 9, 135. So, 6 times what equals 135, so we would take 130 divided by 6, okay? So it would end up being 22, okay, and 3, 6. 22 and 3, 6, which then reduces to 1 half. 22 and a half is the answer. So 6 is to 15 as 9 is to 22 and a half, okay? And that's lesson 72.